Hey everybody, it's been a long time. Uh, we're going to film another episode of the Keystone Cannabis Review here today. Uh, got a couple things to discuss. One, I uh, haven't been very active. I guess I've just had other projects kind of pulling me away from this. So I'm going to do what I can. Um, got a couple big things as far as this channel goes in the works uh in the future so that'll be good i will make more announcements as needed a uh, couple different things here um most of these all these products today this is just a review of a smoke shop in greensburg pennsylvania at the mall uh went in there the other day uh i was in the area for some family related stuff i picked up a mystery bag uh it was ten dollars and i'm going to show you what all that included uh came with this nice little one hitter came with this little pipe came with a grinder and came with this nice joint blunt tube uh <clears throat> while i was in there i also picked up some of this stuff Lost Eights Sativa. It's a Durban Poison. I got an, uh, three and a half grams of it for $16, so that's a pretty good buy. Uh, I picked this up <clears throat> at the same place I grabbed the, uh, the mystery bag. This, uh, the bud I purchased at a vape shop in the same mall. Uh, pretty good stuff. I've tried it in the one hitter already. We'll probably smoke that. Um, but I got a 3 chi green crack cartridge. The packaging's very nice. Uh, it says it's 95% Delta 8 THC. Uh, it's 5% terpenes. Uh, again, if you're under 21, don't be using this stuff. <clears throat> this is for adults who are making an educated decision to use these plants uh, in extracts for themselves. Uh, oh, I almost forgot, uh, the, the mystery bag did come with rolling papers, which are right here. They're not anything fancy, you know, they're just plain old rolling papers. It says they're a dollar. The, the mystery bag, it probably had about, oh, I'm going to say if you purchased all this stuff, it would be like $20 worth of stuff. The The mystery bag did not include this cartridge or the bud. It just contained all the things that you would need to smoke it. So I've pre-rolled a joint of this Durban Poison. We're going to fire it up and see how it is. Taking a couple dry puffs on it. Uh, it does have a piney, earthy, flowery kind of taste to it. So, uh, as before, the channel is not really a political thing. It's more about the products, but I don't think anybody that is... Pro cannabis is really losing sleep over how the elections went. But none of these politicians are perfect, anyways. They all have their problems left, right, center, whatever. Got a little run there.
I'm not really crazy about joints, but I'm not a big fan of those papers, for one. Uh, they're a little short for me. I like a longer paper. It lets me roll it a little bit better. I did hand roll this. Uh, I'm fairly decent at rolling joints. It's not my, you know, if I was somewhere and somebody needed one rolled, I can do it. But I don't roll a lot of my weed anyways. So these papers, uh, they don't taste very good. Uh, they'll work, but they're by no means a paper that I would go out and purchase. I got them in the grab bag, so it's really not a big deal. <clears throat> so we will crack this guy open. We're just going to stick that right in the pipe. Rather than mess around smoking a joint that's I can't taste. Uh, I would, I, I mean, I think the gold standard anymore is probably raw papers, which I would have much rather had some raw papers than the Rasta wraps. So, we got that all packed up nicely. I don't see why this won't work. Well, that went a lot better. Uh, good pipe, shitty papers. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I would not recommend these papers. Uh, go if you're gonna if you're gonna roll your weed, go get a blunt wrap or at least get some raw papers. This these suck. Um, all I could taste was the paper <clears throat> once I lit the thing and couldn't taste the flower, which is one of the reasons why I enjoy smoking, so there's that. We'll get this one-hitter cleaned out. I've already used the one-hitter. It works really good. So the grinder that was, it's just a cheap plastic grinder. It does get the job done. It's got a nice little Nice little thing on the bottom to hold your flower once you've ground it up. So we'll pack this one hitter up. And again, this is all perfectly legal. I went to a store and purchased this. There's no federal law against Delta 8 THC. So apart from that, the people can just deal with it, you know. Um, again, 100% federally legal, state legal, there's nothing anybody can do. I'm not breaking any laws. That one hitter is awesome. I'm starting to feel some of the effects at this point. Uh, haven't smoked very much. Let's see what this. Uh, let's see what's all in this flour. Uh, ingredients: 100% hemp-derived Delta 8 hemp flour and plant-derived terpenes. Uh, suggested use: enjoy as needed. Store in a cool, dry place away from light. Not intended for children. Not intended for use by 
What's this say? Oh, anyone under the age of 21 uh, may cause drowsiness. Don't operate this if you're going to be driving around and all that stuff. Come on. Like, <clears throat> we're trying to get this stuff socially acceptable, legal, where there's no problems with it. Don't use this stuff if you're going to be, you know, going to work or driving around, whatever you're doing. Use this stuff in the privacy of your own home. Uh, <clears throat> at this point, I'm going to say that the, uh, the $10 mystery bag, I would say that it was pretty much worth it, especially for people that are new to this. You should definitely go, uh, anytime that you can get something like that. There was, there was no telling what I was getting, but it has everything that you need apart from the flour to get started. Uh, we'll move on to this, the 3 Chi. I've used some 3 Chi products. Uh, I'm usually not real crazy about them. I have a green crack cartridge here. I have, I'm, I'm, I've used a little bit of it, nothing crazy. Uh, again, I got it in my Yocan battery pack. This thing's, oh, at least two years old. You can tell that it's you know, it's worn, the finish is wearing off of it. It's starting to have some issues. I'm going to have to probably get a new battery. Uh, we'll preheat this. And it's got a little counter on it and everything. You can see when it's ready to go. And it's ready. So hold the button. Um, I get a, hmm, I get a fruity, fruity pine sweet, I, I get a little bit of pine off of this, but it's really fruity and sweet, uh, it's fairly smooth, I've had some cartridges that are smoother than that, but it's, uh, it's not bad. <clears throat> it's not my favorite green crack cartridge, but uh, this is a this is a good product that um, I'd probably put. I'd give it a thumbs up, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I can definitely feel the effects now. Uh, this stuff's way more potent than the flower. Um, <clears throat> this flower, as far as it goes, uh, if you can get it for sixteen bucks and an eighth, that's really good. Um, it says it's got 500 milligrams of Delta-8 THC in the container. Um, I don't know if that's the case. I didn't smoke the whole thing, and I've never used that much at once. So, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Um, but here, you can check out this packaging. There's your government warnings. You got a little fucking pot leaf that's, like, super baked on it. Delta 8 flower, all that good stuff. <clears throat> um, I'm going to say that this is, uh, this flower, definitely thumbs up on this. This is a good product. I enjoy that. I'm going to say this flower is, it could be a little bit more potent. It's not, it's not very potent at all, really. Uh, <clears throat> It was it was worth the purchase, um, so I'm I'm gonna give the flower about a I'm gonna just say five out of ten because it was worth the purchase. The effects aren't very it's just very run of the mill. Um, it, I if somebody was like oh I've I've never smoked a sativa and I'm new to this this would this isn't a bad this isn't a bad product for that type of thing. Uh, this, definitely way more potent than the flower, but you, you would expect that because you, this is a concentrate and this isn't, but, uh, yeah, that all being said, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys, I got some comments saying that I need to do longer reviews, so here's a long one, here's a whole bunch of stuff, I'm going to throw it all at you at once, 
but uh yeah if you if you enjoy this style of review more i can do that type of thing rather than like one product at a time or a comparison it's uh i'm, I'm here to try and help you so let me know what you need